Lawrence, Georgia, on the SSV, Oliver Hazard Perry. We got a request on Ask Us Anything about how a propeller works and how it moves a ship this big around. Well, a propeller is a rotating hub with radiating blades. It's driven by our ship's engine. That rotating power is transmitted through a prop shaft to a propeller, turned into rotational energy, and a force from that rotational energy pushes the water and shoves our boat forward. So what does all that mean? Well, let's take a look at how a propeller really works and have a little fun doing it. Well, if you want to go forward, push backwards. Action, reaction. Newton's third law of motion. Sir Isaac Newton was an English mathematician, physicist, astronomer, theologian, and an author. He's widely recognized as one of the most influential scientists of all time and a key figure in the scientific revolution. We use his laws of motion in this discussion. His first law, a body at rest tends to stay at rest. Our ship has a tendency to sit or continue to move unless acted on by a force, like the wind, the tide, the engines. His second law, F equals MA, force equals mass times acceleration. The force applied to our ship equals the mass of the ship times the acceleration of all vectors acting upon it. Like the tide pushes one way, the wind another, and our engines a third. All of these forces have vectors, and the vectors add up to our direction. And most importantly in our discussion today on propellers is third law. When a body exerts a force on a secondary body, the secondary body simultaneously exerts a force equal in magnitude and in the opposite direction of the first body. Our ship's propeller exerts a force through the water behind us and shoves us forward due to that force. Our propeller pushes a lot of water backwards, propelling a big, heavy ship forward. But we haven't even talked about the other bit of push and pull, which brings us to Bernoulli. Daniel Bernoulli was a Swiss mathematician who is remembered for his work in fluid dynamics. Specifically, Bernoulli's principle states, an increase in the speed of a fluid occurs simultaneously with the decrease in static pressure or decrease in the fluid's potential energy. Basically, marine propeller blades provide thrust as they rotate through the water. The curvature of the blades reduce pressure in the front of the blade. The pressure behind the blade is greater. All that water gets sucked into the propeller and shoved out the back. Due to the water rushing past, it creates a force from the propeller. Newton's third law then comes into play. The force from the propeller pushes backwards, driving our ship forward. A ship is propelled on this basis of Bernoulli's principle and Newton's third law. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more fun videos from the Oliver Hazard Perry. And share it with your friends. Let's take a look at the three main factors of a propeller design. The type of propeller, the number of blades, and the blade pitch. Type of propeller? In general, they fall into two categories, a fixed pitch prop, FPP, or a controlled pitch prop, CPP. In a controlled pitch propeller, CPP, also known as a variable pitch propeller, the pitch of the propeller can be altered during operation, and it can be pitched to zero, so it doesn't bite into the water at all. It can be pitched forward or backwards to go forward or reverse. The blades on a fixed pitch propeller are permanently attached to the hub or the center of the propeller. The pitch of the blade is permanently fixed and cannot be changed during operation. The blade pitch of a propeller can be defined as the displacement that a propeller makes for every full revolution of 360 degrees, assuming no slip. Let's talk about slip. Slip is the difference between the actual and theoretical travel through the water. For example, if a 10-inch pitch prop actually advances eight and a half inches per revolution through the water, it is said to have a 15% slip. Eight and a half inches is 85% of 10 inches. Slip can occur for a number of reasons. Tides, currents, issues with the propeller, any number of things can cause slip. What does that mean? It all ends up making us travel not as far for every revolution as we could theoretically. And the difference between the theoretical and the actual distance traveled is prop slip. So who invented the ship's propeller? Well, it was kind of a group effort. The origin of the screw propeller starts with Archimedes, who used a screw to lift water for irrigation and bailing boats. So famously, it became known as Archimedes' screw. In 1827, the Czech-Austrian inventor, Josef Ressel, from Archimedes' screw concept, had invented a screw propeller, which had multiple blades fastened around a conical base. He had tested his propeller in February 1826 on a small ship that was manually driven. He was successful in using his bronze screw propeller on an adapted steamboat in 1829. 
Meanwhile, Sir Francis Petty Smith, an English inventor along with John Erickson, a Swiss-American inventor, were also working on the screw propeller. Smith was also the driving force behind the construction of the world's first screw propeller steamship, the SS Archimedes. Regardless of what type of propeller a ship has, or a number of propellers on a ship, they all work the same, using Newton's third law of motion, Bernoulli's principle of fluid dynamics, and it all works together to move our ship in the water. Well, I hope that explained to you how our propeller works, some of the important aspects of propellers, and how a propeller can move a boat like this, or even bigger, through the water. Have a great day. See you next time on Ask Us Anything. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more fun videos from the Oliver Hazard Perry.